And so as not to confuse anybody, we've been talking about, you know, DePaul and their fast-paced offense. That doesn't mean Dayton doesn't want to run. Jen Hildreth, WNBA championship winning head coach Mike Tebow on the call for this one. Lexi held in the corner. It's good for DePaul. Brought to you by Capital One for the Dayton Flyers. Ion Bradshaw, one of their leaders, Makaira Cook into the starting lineup. Aaron Whalen, their grad. Bradshaw, no problem getting through it. There is a size advantage on the inside. Magasa takes advantage. Fires down one. They've made their last three. Cook on the drive, off the glass, and in. What a start for Makaira Cooks. Church came flying through like that was intended for her all along. Held, hit one from there earlier in the quarter. Offensive rebound goes to Church. Jenna Giacconi in the game, gets it over to Whalen for three. This right here is what Dayton has to figure out to take advantage of. The ball's switching all the pick and rolls right now and getting mismatches, but you've got to find the right mismatch. They can put up some points, too. This is not a team that's going to try to grind nope. you out. They'll try to run at times as well. Whalen makes so, the play on one end, hits a shot on the other. It's a great down screen to get herself open at the three-point line, and she just knocks it down. That's her favorite spot. On what do you think DePaul was talking about in that last break? What are they looking to change? Well, I, I don't I don't know if, if Doug loved their shot selection a couple times, the runners that got blocked play that time to get a down screen for a shooter, and they knocked it down. Of course, they give up a three on the other end. Makaira Cook, the leading scorer all season for the Flyers, in the starting lineup tonight. Morrow calling for it on the inside. She gets it, tries to go over Magasa, and does. Nice soft touch. A lot of times nowadays you have teams sending a lot of people back in transition defense. DePaul sends four to the boards almost every possession. Step back for three. They just make teams use a lot of the clock because they're so good defensively. And DePaul doing it on this end of the floor. They really kind of had to force there. And nothing forced as Morris as Dayton did in the first quarter and 75% from three. Getting deep in the shot clock again, though, here. Whalen! No problem! And here in attendance, but had her shot blocked again. The Dayton defense bringing it. Jaconi for three. Yes! Foul on this end of the floor. It's against Bradshaw. This is just good patience. Jaconi's late down. Here, a little defense check going on. Not time that's too easy for Morrow. They're playing with eight players tonight some of whom don't play a lot of minutes and we'll see what the pace of the game does to them over the course of the game. Yeah that was Kendall Holmes one of those eight coming off the bench and Jacoby. There's going to be another one. Oh shot fake to get herself the look. Oh my it is a three-point clinic by the Flyers. A couple of her shooters to get down the floor. Morrow, quick turn and the bucket. Feels she's done her part, but the rest of DePaul certainly has struggled, and they have struggled mightily on this end. Jaconi. They, they've got to be having a little bit of uh, flashbacks here. Whalen, another three goes down for Dayton. Well, I called their A-10 final, and she didn't have a good look at all about making shots, and tonight she looks like a totally different player. And easily, Cook just gets around Morris. Capria Brown off on her shot, but that works out just as well. Magasa with the putback. Certain players on the floor against matchups. This being one right here, Jaconi against a small guard. Works to perfection. And they've done a pretty good job of it so far. 11 points in the game for Morrow. And here she is trying to go to work. It's blocked again, but she stays with it. She stays with it. And goes and to gets the free the throw line. Yep. Now try to defend the inbounds play. Five on the 
shot clock. Whalen had a monster first half. Keeps it going. 19 in the game now. Get his vocal cords to cooperate. As we still have a lot of basketball left to play. And Mara once again takes it to the basket. Taking a lot on her own shoulders right now. Those are the ones that went in the whole first half. Wasn't much that didn't go in for Dayton. Around and out. Unlucky. The rebound and the putback. Guess who? Ten on the shot clock. Brown shot. Trying to get by Morrow and does. Whalen. Another one of their, another one of their pet offensive plays coming out of timeouts. Dayton coming in looking like a champion. Regular season champs in the A-10. Little hesitation there from Bradshaw. You right, you jot any of those down? See I, I have a few of them I've jotted <laughs> down the last couple days. A few of their out-of-bounds plays late clock, too. Got a chance to call that A-10 championship game. Well, that was a replay of what happened to them uh, in the first half. Now they can run a set play. And Magasa. Nice little jump hook. Like Deja Church. If this is to be their last game in a DePaul uniform, how do you want to finish? What mark do you want to leave? The first three quarters have not been what they would like. Very signature style. And it's nothing new to see DePaul as a team up there toward the top, if not leading the country in scoring as they're doing this season. Defensively, they're similar. They're not as similar offensively, but they are similar defensively. Yeah, Georgia, at least historically this season, is that's an offensive foul. And Church and Georgia, they allow 59 points from their opponents all season. Good look inside as Perry adds to the scoring for the Flyer. They've been rewarded with a terrific season by their Iowa State team. Finishing second in the Big 12, ranked number 10 in the country. First round action against Georgia on Friday night. That game will get us started from Ames. And then the nightcap, the Iowa State Cyclones. See Anissa play. Whalen, the drive is good. Great finish. And they are executing. I mean, they are running the sets that they ran this morning and shoot around to perfection. Dayton will move on. The Flyers emphatically take down DePaul. 88-57, the final score from A.